move on. Let's go to the top. Aw, come on, Daddy. Don't be a small sport. Come on, son. We can just go to the vacation resort on Naboo. Dad! You know I hate that place. Can we at least try to convince the Earthlings? Pretty please. <sighs> okay. How about we set up a moon prize to make the impossible happen faster? Great idea. Let's do it. We're here in the beautiful island of Mirka to give an interview on the Mirka bus, who just entered the prestigious Moon Prize Challenge. Look, I think they're over there, testing two of their robots. Let's see why they think we should go back to the moon for a bit. Why do you compete in this competition? The moons always were and will be explorers. We want to be part of this great experience. If we don't do something now, it will probably take another 40 years for mankind to return to the moon for good. We want science, technology, and engineering to take the same dramatic leap as it did um, in the last moon landing 40 years ago. So, why should the moon be the first step? Well, it is the closest extraterrestrial place, and you can get there in a matter of days, not years. It will help us to gain practical experience for future missions. A permanent research facility will help us to evaluate mining options, provide a unique location to study Earth, and to observe space without Earth's interference. So, what do you expect to find on the moon? All kinds of minerals, metals, and even water. Also future energy sources such as helium free. Everything you need to, uh, to build a moon base, solar panels, or even spacecraft fuel is right there on the moon. So, one last question. What is your personal goal for this challenge? To make a difference, win the prize, and go to Hawaii! Wow, thank you, and back to you. Don't you suppose to win my own support?